Howdy, everybody. This is Rochelle here, and I've got a couple really important questions to you. And my guess is you probably can say yes to one of these. Have you ever had a situation where you've taken your horse somewhere and you realize that your Coggins is not with you and you need access to it and you don't have it? Or have you ever been preparing to take a horse somewhere? And sorry, I have a dog right here. This is Diesel. Um, have you ever prepared to take a horse somewhere and you realize that your Coggins um, is about ready to expire and so you've had to pay the vet to do a rush on getting a Coggins uh, for that horse? Um, have you ever had a situation where you've had your hard drive crash and you've lost important documents uh, because of that? Or have you ever had a situation where you did a pre-purchase on a horse, pre-purchase exam on a horse many years back and you can't quite remember where you have those documents stored and you'd like to be able to access them just as a reference point, whether it's it's radiographs or it's the flexion tests and videos and everything else. You'd like to be able to access that. Um, you know, have you ever been able to fill out a horse show entry blank and you realize that, oh, I wish I would have had all this information right here in handy? Or have you ever even um, sent your horse off to another location and you want to be able to provide the information like their insurance information or their registration or anything else in a nice, easy, fast way? So my guess is you probably had, are going to say yes to one of those questions somewhere. And so let me show you how Equine Simplified can help with that. Health information for this horse uh, is two areas. One is a health activities feed. So if you just want to see um, activities that, that you've done with this horse that have been filtered for just health activities, that's a fast way to do that. And you just select on it. I haven't entered any activities yet, but that's a fast way to see it for past and future related to health related activity categories. However, there's also another field in here called documents, and these are health related documents. There are some other documents and papers and registration. So you can see if you hit add new document, um, there's different document types that are set up in here. So you can see Coggins, uh, radiographs, ultrasound, a pre-purchase exam, whatever you want um, on here, you can, or you can hit add new and have other categories if you want other types of documents added on there. Um, you could put a, um, health certificates, for instance, or whatever you want, you could hit add new. So for instance, if I wanted to load her Coggins, I would go hit here and I would I'm going to call it, let's say her 2020 uh, Coggins. And let's say it expires. Um, it was done. Um, it was done in December. So it's going to expire in December of last year. So it's going to um, expire in December of this year. So I would pick a date on it and I would hit save and that's when it's gonna expire. So I would have a notification to know that, that this, this is gonna expire. I can also enter the veterinarian that um, did this. So that way I can remember um, who, who had the, who did the Coggins for that or who did whatever, um, if it was a pre-purchase or whatever it is, you can enter that in there. It's an optional field, so you can enter it in or not. Um, now. So this one, I just hit save and guess what? It told me I did something wrong here. So it said add a file because I'm adding a health document and I need to add a file. So what I need to do is I need to go in and add the file. So I would select over, I select add file and I can choose uh, Dolce's Coggins. It'll add the file. I can select on if I wanna see it Although, and then I can just hit save. So then it'll tell me there's a file here what the date of expiration is. And so I can plan for that, um, you know, as far as that expiration date. So I can enter other documents that way. Then likewise, under papers and registrations, there's some other information that's found here. So this is where you're gonna find any detailed information about their insurance. Um, so that's important. And then we also have a lot of other types of information about the horse. So if there's any bill of sale, board agreements, insurance details, as I mentioned, lease agreements, you can enter in their measurement cards, um, any other registration information here. So you can put all that in here. Um, so if I want to go ahead and look at like USEF registration, um, I can have a file or maybe I don't have a file. I just want to go ahead and just grab her registration number. And so I can grab her number here and then I can select what registry it is. So again, hundreds of registries listed in here, but I can type in USEF 
Um, and then I can put in whatever expiration. If there is an expiration, in this case, it's her membership's a lifetime. So then I just hit save. So now it will show that I have it in here. If there is an expiration date, it will enter it in there. And so I can see that. But I can enter in the same thing on, um, you know, if I continue to go down there and enter in information about, for instance, uh, THJA. Oops. I can enter in, um, and so I can enter in her number, which is her same number. And then I can select my, my information. So again, here, if I want to put it under type in Texas Hunter Jumper, or I just want to type in THJA, there, now there may be a couple, and you have to watch for because there may be a couple that have similar um, uh, nomenclature as far as the short name. So that's why it has a long name as well in there. So you can select that and hit save. And so you can go ahead and enter in whatever you need to enter into this. Um, same thing about insurance. If I want to enter in insurance details, this allows me to now create some forms so I can enter in um, who's the policy holder and then enter in all the information I need to have about that, what's their coverage and everything else. So then I have it handy. And if I need to send her off to somebody, I can get this information and have it handy and send that over to them so that they have the right information about this horse from an insurance perspective. Now I'll just quickly enter in her information and, and then click save. So now it's got information in here. It's got information on who to call and such. Um, and I could go ahead and put in all of her information about her coverage and, and uh, what her deductible is and all that. I did not enter that, but I could put all that in there and any other notes that I have on this. So that just has some basic information. Same thing, the other thing about the horses, you know, what would you look at as primary veterinarian, other veterinarians, farriers, um, and any other provider. So if you want to record that with a horse, um, perhaps you have uh, boarded horses and there's some different providers on each horse, you can put that in here. And lastly, I can go ahead and enter in all kinds of different photos, videos, whatever I want to put in um, about this horse, I can put those in here. Now, um, one thing I was looking at is loading up all the videos from her pre-purchase, and those I would probably put under health documents and go ahead and load those under um, the document type, and I've got a pre-purchase exam. I would go ahead and load up all those files here um, just because that seems like it makes more sense to load it up in that category under her health documents. Thanks for watching. We're going to be posting more videos related to equine simplified tips and tricks as well as general horse care topics. So please remember to subscribe so that you can get the latest. Now, time to go play with the horses. Cheers! <laughs>